Hey friends, Tux here. You know, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite keyboards of all time. We have many computers around the house, and this is one that is always on several of our workstations. This is the Alienware 410K. Now before I go further, I want to mention there'll be a link for this right below, so be sure and click that link to get yours at the very best price from Amazon, okay? Um, this is just a great keyboard. I do have two brand new ones here. We'll just kind of push one to the side temporarily. Now you guys know I've reviewed a lot of Alienware stuff over the years. I'm definitely a big fan and we do use other types of computers, even you know computers we build ourselves here at the house. But Alienware is one brand. If there's one brand, okay, that we consistently go back to a lot, it's definitely Alienware. They make great products, um, fantastic parts, good quality, you know, and the fact that um, it's just, they're very versatile and they have some cool lighting features and things you will not find in other keyboards, all right? Now looking at the box, I definitely wanna mention the 410K here is RGB, okay? And it's a mechanical gaming keyboard. This isn't like pseudo mechanical or fake mechanical. This is a true mechanical keyboard. So it'll have that great feel and sound of a mechanical keyboard. We'll do a sound test later, um, but just, I love mechanical keyboards. It's the way I love to play. And um, definitely I'm not alone in that one too, okay? Um, this is a MK or MX Cherry switches, okay? A lot of people ask, what kind of switches are they? Um, cherry, the cherry switches, which are great. Um, definitely one of my favorite switches. And on the back here, we got some little features and things. Let's check it out, okay? Um, looks like we got a few languages here. The keys on this keyboard, okay, so lots of color variations. These are things you control with the Alienware FX software, okay? And these can be used on non-Alienware computers too. I should throw that out there, although I'll be using these on Alienware computers, okay? Um, but you, you can get the Alienware FX software downloaded from Dell. You can actually look into Dell about how to get that. It is featured on the Dell website or the Alienware site, if you will, okay? Um, anyway, continuing on here. Okay, it does have um, Alienware FX uh, per key RGB backline. What that means is this is one keyboard where you can actually make any key, any color, and you can do all sorts of crazy things. You can make Y pink and U <laughs> orange and L white or whatever. You can make any combination you want, like RGB, you know, you can do a, a WSAD. You can do all sorts of good combinations of coloring lights for things that you use frequently like if you're doing mmos like me or whatever you know our house will be to play a lot of world of warcraft and that kind of thing it's like you can make keys colors for how you do it like if i'm playing my healer i can assign keys to color mapping it and of course you can actually program keys too um but anyway so really cool uh, a lot of keyboards allow you to program but not a lot of keyboards allow you to color change individual keys okay so you can still have all the programming all the light sweeping however you want it but you can make certain keys certain colors and that is truly unique, okay? I should mention I put this down because this is actually pretty heavy. This is definitely a full-size keyboard and a little on the heavy side in this box like that. Um, good thing I'm not, not trying to hold two of them up, you know? Uh, fully programmable keys with key rollover, okay? Just as I was saying, you can program these in many different ways. More about that in a little bit. And of course, again, these are featuring Cherry MX Brown switches. Different versions of this may have different switches, okay? But I believe that... Um, these here will be brown. I mean, obviously in the package, we're showing the um, the brown switches, Cherry MX brown switches, okay? Great looking box, great retail packaging. Definitely Alienware do a great job making their products look cool. Nice glossiness. There's like matte parts like the keyboard. There's glossy parts like in the back here and like little kind of like tech, like Alienware kind of stuff kind of hidden in the white area, you know, very cool. Um, definitely, I give Alienware props, man, because they do a really good job trying to make cool looking products and they don't just like give you a brown box or something. Like they, you get your experience when you buy your Alienware product, it's in a beautiful box. So I, I appreciate those little things. Okay, we got our knife here. We're gonna go ahead and cut this bad boy open. Um, these do have a nice little seal here on the side, so you know this has not been opened or whatever. It's brand new, okay? And that is definitely the way I like to buy these. I know some people say, oh, I like to buy used Alienware, you know, and I kind of get that for like laptops maybe, but when it comes to keyboards, even though these keyboards last a good long time, it's really nice to have a brand new keyboard, okay? I, keyboards are one of those things I don't buy used, you know? So let's go ahead and slide this open here and you can see, check it out guys. Oh, look at that. I love the way they have the white packaging with the black interior. Just those, those little attentions to detail like really make me happy. We'll pull this open here and there's all sorts of information. We'll put this back here. And you can see even on the side here, shows you a little bit about connections here, how to connect it down. This is a two USB 
uh, cord keyboard, okay? That just goes to show you really how high tech this thing is uh, with all the lighting effects and all the programming, everything else. You need two USBs plugged in to make this keyboard function the way you want it to function, okay? And it does give you a few other things here. And of course, it's a little uh, hashtag here for dell.com slash supports manuals if you need more information. All right, let's go ahead and pop open the top here. And I want to show you something really special to me. You guys know I love cables. I'm into braided cables. And I want to say that industry-wide, first, I do love the black inside, by the way. Little details. Um, this is a detail which I love, guys. Check out this beautiful, beautiful black braided keyboard. And this is one thick honking keyboard. Okay, so you have your two USB here. These are You need two USB slots to make this thing function and do all the bells and whistles and everything else, okay? And this is a nice thick cable. This is a quality cable that's not gonna break. It does break with a little break apart and from one wire here. See, it's one big beautiful cable to two beautiful cables. So it's really great how it does have it kind of going. So for cable management purposes, like under your desk or whatever, you can just have this one thick cable, but then just break into the two parts here for plugging into your computer, okay? And again, this the braided cable here is absolutely gorgeous. Just really, really nice. Definitely loving that. Oh my gosh, oh, I see something else I love besides a beautiful cable. And you know, they stopped doing this for a while. Wow, that is amazing. Check it out, guys. It looks like, is this a sticker? What the heck is this crazy thing? Is that a sticker? Uh, I'm guessing that's a sticker. They stopped doing stickers for a while. Like, you know, I don't have any stickers on my Corvette, okay? And I may just put this Alienware sticker on my Corvette. I'll have to think about that because I don't have any stickers in my car. But um, wow, I'm happy that Alienware now giving stickers. And this is really nice too. It's not like a little plastic piece. So it's a nice quality Alienware sticker. Look at that. That is cute, guys. Definitely digging that. Um, here we have, I'll put that to the side. Here we have the warranty information. And it's good to hold on to this. Like Dell and Alienware are really good about taking care of their customers. And this being, you know, a quality keyboard, you really shouldn't have problems. But if you do, they're going to take care of you, okay, in a way that some other companies may not. So it's really cool that they take care of you. And hold on to your warranty information. It's in, like, eight languages and everything here. So <laughs> you're good to go. Um, but just real thin paper. Not a lot really to show you here. I'm not going to go through this. But it's cool they do include, you know, the warranty information for U.S., Brazil, and everywhere in the world. All together, one packet. We'll just kind of throw that to the side. So, very good. Um, let's go ahead and pull this out now. And this is packed really nicely, too, I should mention. Like, nice foam here. They're definitely taking care of this. So, you know you're going to get this beautiful keyboard in one piece, which is very important. All right. The time has come to pull off the plastic. Well, just give this a little pull here. Love the way they have it nicely protected. So, you know, when you're getting a brand new Alienware keyboard, it's definitely safe from a kind of moisture or any kind of problems in shipping or whatever they do a really good job between the multiple boxes these boxes came in other boxes by the way too so definitely they definitely want everything wrapped up nice for you um before i go any further here's a real close-up shot of that beautiful braided cable again definitely digging that very thick very good quality i'd say industry leading good quality and there's where it breaks into two hopefully the camera's zooming in okay and catching that now here's the keyboard itself guys so this is a full-size keyboard very, very nice, has it without being powered on, has a basic matte black look to the keys. Um, do we have a little Alienware word right here? I don't believe that lights up, but we'll we'll check this out once we plug it in. This particular model, I believe that is like blacked out, dark side of the moon style. And then um, the keys themselves, they're nice. Uh, they're, it's like a full size key. You could actually see the switches right in there. So if you do have a key puller, you could pull these and do some changing around or whatever. Um, I do like these better than the chiclet style keys. And the reason why is I have found with some of the Alienware chiclet style keys, they're more likely to pop off if you're doing some aggressive playing. Okay, so I dim lights here so you can see these beautiful, right now, blue, but of course you can make it any color you want, keys. So I'm really digging the way you can see the cherry switches down below. They're shining bright on through, looking very cool. Very uh, futuristic looking, almost like Tron or something. Now I want to go ahead and do a little key test here. So I'm going to go ahead and be quiet for a moment and just let you hear the keys, these mechanical keys, and give you an idea of the volume and I'll have some feedback after. So here goes. They're really springy. 
I would say these keys fill. You can definitely feel the, the tension as you press them down. I'm not saying they're hard pressed down. They're not. They're, they're light and springy, so they're very delicate. I'm sure if you're doing some kind of game that has a lot of like clicks per second CPS, like StarCraft or whatever, I would say that this would be a very good keyboard for that because they're very springy, very fast. And it doesn't really have too loud of a mechanical sound. Like you can hear it, but it's not it's not super loud. I've heard louder mechanical keyboards, but it just feels very good in the hand. I can see how like during a long gaming session, this wouldn't fatigue you. My dove's cooing like crazy. She wants to play some games here with us. Okay, so while this is a unboxing video, I did want to give you a little taste here of the Alienware FX software. Now, this is built into the Alienware Command Center, okay, and you can download this singly, um, but it's best if you use it with the Command Center. Now, here we have the keyboard here, the 410K, and I've already changed the colors of some of these right here. WSAD, you can see I've made red right there, okay? And we'll show you the finished product in just a minute, but just for fun, we're going to change a few of these other colors. I got my mouse here. I'm going to go ahead and swipe over here and just change a few more. Let's say we want to make the numbers over here, the number pad. We want to make them a different color. Let's go ahead and make those. What do you think? Uh, maybe, well, we already have teal. Maybe we'll do orange, okay? So we'll make these orange. We'll color all of these. We're just going to hit a key like that. Hit number eight. Make it orange. Number nine, orange. Now, I can really make these any color. I'm not really going for a rainbow or anything. But if you wanted to, you certainly could make it any color, like every key, a different color if you wanted to, which is pretty. Oops, I did red. Let's change it back to orange. There we go. And we'll do some more orange and a little more orange. I'm almost tempted to do green here, but I'm going to keep it orange for now. There we go. So now we have nice oranges and we'll go ahead and change number zero to orange as well. OK, now that's pretty cool. Now, there is some like little places here you can actually save um, custom colors. OK, right in here, your color. So like, let's say we wanted to make something a different color. Like, let's say I use the numbers up here quite a bit or let's say um, tab is used a lot for like um, auto shoot and auto aim that kind of thing so let's make tab a custom color so i'm gonna go ahead and use the color wheel over here and you can see you can actually make it any color i can make it like over there see it's white now or you can make it like pink or you can make it red or you can make it yellow um you can any color in the spectrum of color here um any kind of depth and you can actually use this to kind of change a little bit and if you want right here there are numbers oops right here <laughs> there's numbers so you could actually come up with like the actual color number if you want to get the precise color that you want uh, but you know there's a lot of ways of getting it to the way you want it i kind of like just kind of poking around here you know i kind of like that that looks pretty good right there let me go ahead and we'll save that okay so we're gonna make that that so we're just gonna click that Make sure it's there and we can make this a custom color. See, so I just click that plus sign and then from the plus sign right there, it saved that color here to my custom colors. So really cool. So that way you have it handy, that kind of thing, you know, and of course you can make more elaborate custom colors and all that kind of thing, too. And then, of course, you can go ahead and save this right now. This is kind of like my active uh, theme, but you can actually save this to a name like, you know, gaming or something. And then you could make that actually be, you know, for gaming and you could switch in the fly between various different color patterns. This is the light um, pattern here. If you want to see, I didn't want to use that. I didn't want to like <laughs> make the camera all hokey with white. So I went with the dark color just for filming this video, but I do kind of flip back and forth. I do like the, the motion dots right down here, which are kind of cool. And then also in here, just to show you real quick, there's fusion. Oh, I guess I have to save. All right, we'll save. There we go. And you can see in Alien where there's a lot of great functionality as far as being able to overclock and do different things to your computer. Um, but we'll save that for a different video. But I just wanted to give you a little taste of that so you kind of check it out and see. You can switch between the actual Alienware computer here and change different color things. And, of course, the actual keyboard there. And if you have a mouse, you could actually add a mouse or other Alienware products like headphones and things to it. So really good software. Love it. We'll just can keep this simple for this video. Just wanted to show you that it's very possible to change individual keys and now we're going to go over here to the keyboard and take a look at our finished product okay so here we are with our finished product as you can see here we do have that wsad is red which looks beautiful that way it stands out there we have our tab the auto select kind of a purplish color that royal blue looks good and then if we go over here to the numbers check it out guys orange just like we said so you can actually make any of the colors anything you want it's really nice the fact you can customize so much stuff 
on this Alienware keyboard. Now you literally could spend hours, I know I could spend hours making different color schemes and programs, that kind of thing, to make this work. I wanted to show you a real basic one here just to give you an idea. So right now we have it set up with our color WSAD, our purple tab, our yellow numbers over here, orange I guess. And I went ahead and set up a thing where when I press any key, it's going to go ahead and change color and kind of morph through a couple, couple colors and then go back to this original uh, theme here. So we're going to hit this K for fun. You see it's like purple and red and kind of pink and it goes back so you can make that as long as you want to go in fact you can make it strober whatever you want it to do you know and you can make individual keys do things like sometimes I would make one button like playing overwatch I would have a tab assigned for doing like my my main attack and it has to charge so I would have it sitting there and kind of have it flashing you know for ready to be uh, launched or whatever so you could actually make one key do something like strobe or whatever pulse and you can make another key do something entirely different you know it just really is about how much time you want to spend programming individual keys to do individual things but I can tell you that once you have it set up it's really cool and it's really fun to actually make different colored themes you know for the game you play or the things that you do you know like edit videos or whatever so anyway guys this really cool keyboard um I just, i'm a big fan of this and just to show you again before i bring the lights up these beautiful color keys it looks absolutely gorgeous and again there's so many different colors it's like a if a number of colors you can make and you can assign every one of these keys to be a different color if you wanted to you know you can make things happen in different orders it's just it's a really fun keyboard and really functional uh, very quick keys, very good clickiness to them, good feel, not too soft, not too hard. Just, I think they're just right, you know? And I do like these full-size keys a little bit better than like the chiclet, those low-profile keys. Um, it just feels more natural to me. I know a lot of gamers do like the low-profile keys, and I think on laptops I like those. But when it comes to like a full-size keyboard playing, you know, doing a big raid, you want the keys to be exactly where you are used to them being as far as the height, the width everything because you know one wrong click and you could miss a spell that could wipe the whole raid so you don't want that you don't want to be that guy all right believe me i'm that guy way too often so i try to do my best to prepare myself have the right tools in place to actually succeed in hardcore gaming okay all right guys let's bring lights up with some final thoughts now the only negative and I'm going to throw out a negative here, guys, for me. The only thing I don't like about this keyboard, honestly, and I understand that it's because of the 16.8 million colors and the fact you can make every key any color you want to be using up two USB plugs uh, dedicated to your keyboard. If you have an older computer or something, it's something you may consider looking at. Make sure you have enough USB ports open, you know, because you're going to need two of them to run this bad boy, okay? So just keep that in mind. I think it's well worth the use of two USB, you know, plugs to make this fancy keyboard with all the bells and whistles and everything work for you. Uh, but just keep that in mind. It is two USB plugs, and very few other keyboards actually require two USB plugs to work, you know, function properly. And that's because this is a, so much packed into it. It really needs those two to be able to do all the, you know, all the different lighting effects and everything else involved with this keyboard, okay? All right, well, there you have it, guys. If you have any questions about this I haven't covered, let me know. I do have a previous video about lots of Alienware stuff you can check out, including, I believe, this keyboard back about a year or two ago. Or I reviewed this before. This is a keyboard which I've been loving for a long time, and I've used a variety of different Alienware keyboards. You guys know I use a variety of different keyboards, period. And this is one of my favorites, guys. This is definitely one of my favorite go-to full-size keyboards. You know, it's great for gaming. It's great for production work. It's great for everything and it lasts a long time and it feels quality and it doesn't make your hands cramp up which is really nice so a lot of thoughtful touches in there a lot of great quality and a huge value too okay again the link for this bad boy right below click that link at yours and i want to thank you guys for watching this video okay again any questions text at gmail.com we'll talk to you soon bye bye click the link